Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am sharing what I have bought this week for our family in our food shop. We were on holiday last week, so I thought I'd be really organized and I'd do a food shop. So it arrived today, which is the day we have just returned home from holiday. Before we went away, I literally ran down my fridge and my cupboards to use everything that I could um, up before we went away so I wouldn't have to buy new stuff and so things weren't in my fridge going off So in this food shop it cost me a hundred pounds Which is a bit more than I usually spend because I usually spend about 60 to 80 pounds a week on our food shop But it's because I had to stock up on things that we had completely run out of like chopped tomatoes toilet paper ketchup all those different things also I just want to say I do normally get my rice and pasta and bits like that from a dry food store um, and I just fill up my own containers but because we've been away and I just wanted everything to be here when I got back I have ordered them from the shop so I'm sorry if I offend anyone um, but you know sometimes you just have to be you just have to make life a little bit easier for yourself because yeah we're all completely jet-lagged and exhausted also I've got a really sore throat um, so <laughs> I sound a bit strange that is why uh, so yeah I'm just gonna take you through I've got eight different meals here that I'm going to be cooking throughout the week and then I'm also going to film a video on what I fed my family this week so everything I show you in today's video will be on my YouTube video next week in what I feed my family in a week so if you want to see how I make any of these things then please subscribe and that video will be up then so we'll just get straight on into this I'm going to start off with my kind of like extras miscellaneous pile which is kind of also our breakfast our lunches rory's lunch boxes um and things like that also a lot of the things i'm making in this food shop will have leftovers so we'll have those for our lunches like chris and i only work from home we'll have those as our lunches so if you're worried that i haven't got enough lunch stuff that is why um yeah so with all that said let's get straight on so i can show you what we have bought Right, so let's start with this section because these are all the kind of like lunch bits, packed lunch bits and things like that. I've got another little area to add to with this as well. So I've got these little pomegranate um, containers because Rory loves these. These are for his lunch box this week. So I got four of those um, and then he'll have like cucumber as well. So maybe these can kind of last for like two weeks because they're a pound a pot. So they're a bit more expensive as a snack than I'd usually get him. So he can kind of alternate between these and cucumber. I got him some oven baked crisps as well. That was on offer. That's why I got two. I got four cucumbers because I, I tell you this all the time, but they're my kid's absolute favorite snack. I have got, I got four of these chopped tomatoes, but I'm using one in a meal that I'm going to show you. I got some butter, I've got some soft cheese, two lots of that. This is actually just like the Tesco own brand, Creamfields. I think this used to be Tesco Value, and they rebranded it to Creamfields. And it's really delicious. You can't really tell the difference between that and a branded one. Two lots of toilet paper, they were two for six pounds. I got some ham, these were two for three pounds. So I have got another one as well, which I'll show you. It's in one of my meals. I've got two tins of tuna, like two four packs of tuna. This is one of them. Another one is also in my meals. Vegetable stock, because I use this in pretty much every single meal that I make. I've got two lots of eggs and some milk. So this milk is going to make a white sauce. So just remember that I have got that there. So here is another one of my sections that is kind of for lunches and lunch boxes and things like that and breakfast. So we've got bread, so we can do poached egg on toast for the kids breakfast or scrambled eggs, anything like that. Rory likes that in his lunchbox, so we've got some King's Mill 50-50 there. Um, I've got fruit, we've got grapes, we've got mangoes, we've got kiwis, apples. Um, I always buy them individually because then they come not in um, plastic wrappers, which I much prefer apart from these, obviously. You can't get those individually. This is just a spare potato. Again, I get these individually as well. This is a baking potato. Look how big that is. It's so much bigger than buying them in a packet. And these are 30p for a baking potato. Um, but they're just so much bigger. So when we do have potatoes, that will feed both boys. I just chop that in half, pop it in the oven. And that potato is, so it's like 15p each for a potato for each of the kids. Um, I've got some extra peppers because the kids love to have that as a snack. I got some peas because of that they kind of just go with any meal as a side. Um, I got these two yogurts because when I do Rory's lunchbox, I decant them into a smaller pot 
that he takes in with him. It just means I'm using less plastic because obviously you just have one container here instead of the individual pots. Red onion, white onion and garlic. I also have another garlic but it's down on my shopping table. Um, some extra tomato ketchup because we've run out and I've also got some carrots because we like to make some homemade hummus and then put some carrots as the dipper. Um, yeah, so that's what I've got here as my kind of like breakfast, lunch and miscellaneous piles. Um, and over there. And now I'm going to take you over to my meals. Right, meal number one, I'm going to be making a moussaka. I love this, this is literally one of my favorite meals. So instead of having like a pasta lasagna, um, the pasta sheets you cut out of the aubergine and then you lay them down and you kind of layer it up. Um, and then what I'm going to do when I make my um, kind of white bechamel sauce, I'm going to do like a spinachy white bechamel sauce. It's so nice. So I will use that as my layers. Um, and then I'll just sprinkle some cheese on top. I've got some cheese over there and yeah so I just literally make up like a tomatoey kind of mint sauce I put an onion in here and some garlic chopped tomatoes a little of um, soy and Liam perrins and then like I said I make my layers with these two next up I'll be making some burgers so I've got this pork mint and then I will really finely chop some onion and garlic put it into there and you can um, add an egg in here as well to combine it all together and some breadcrumbs and then you can either pop them in the oven for about 25 minutes on 180 or you can fry them in a frying pan and then I have got some burgers here maybe put some cheese on top a little bit of like salad or whatever um kids like it plain with a bit of ketchup on there and then I have got some potatoes to make some wedges on the side these are again those massive baked potatoes that I bought for 30p each so two of these potatoes will make plenty of wedges for the four of us next up here I have got two meals so as you can see I've got this really big thing of chicken breast here so I will put them in the slow cooker and I will add in this fajita seasoning mix this is just like a mild barbecue flavor and it's really really delicious so I'll add that in to the slow cooker and then the chicken will just kind of pull apart after a couple of hours I'll, I'm going to put it I'm actually going to make these today so I'm going to put them in on high for about three hours and then um, they will just pull apart really nicely. But if you want to cook them for the whole day, I would suggest to put them in for like seven hours on low. And then one of the meals will be served with these taco shells and some wedges. And then the other one is going to, I'm gonna like save half the mixture, have it tomorrow night with um, fajitas. And then I'll cook up some of these peppers as well. Oh, the other potato I've got, I'll use that for some wedges tomorrow night. Yeah, I forgot about that. So that's what I will do here. So that's two meals here. I also just forgot to include this because I have got a avocado here to make some guacamole. So I make one big pot of guacamole. I put like some garlic, some onion, and a little bit of chili in here. And then I'll keep this. I put some lemon juice as well to make it, to stop it going brown. And then I will make a big lot and then have enough to go with both meals. Over here, I have got some salmon and some rice and some um, broccoli. So I do normally get my rice from from a um, plastic free shop where I just fill up my container but because we've been away I didn't have time to go to the shops and do that so I just ordered everything in my Tesco shop so with this I would just wrap it in some foil with some lemon on here it's really delicious and tastes so fresh pop it in the oven for about 20 minutes on 180 cook up some rice while that is in the oven cooking and then just steam some broccoli on the side so it's a really nice healthy meal here over here we've got three potatoes and some tuna because we're going to be doing jacket potatoes really really simple meal and like I said these potatoes are enormous I wish I don't really know how I can really show you the kind of size they are but look at that that almost like that does cover the whole tuna um like four cans of tuna so that is absolutely massive so these three potatoes are going to be more than enough for the four of us what I'll do is just bake them in the oven and then make tuna mayonnaise on the side serve it with that and that's going to be our dinner for one night so on a Friday is our pizza night so here I have got some wholemeal pita breads and um, what I do is I just take them out individually put some tomato puree on the base grate some cheese um, pop that on and also add some ham as well so these are really really fun because the boys get to make them themselves and if they've got friends over friends think it's like a really great way of having a dinner and also you're giving them pizza but without store buying it so you know exactly what's on them there's no extra added like sugars or anything like that it's all completely homemade and another great thing about this is you can adapt them so if you just want the cheese don't add the ham if you want pepperoni buy some pepperoni if you want some peppers on here add some peppers they're really really versatile so yeah really delicious 
way of having a meal. Right, so lastly, I'm going to be making my own pesto with spaghetti. So to do that, I use a whole avocado, some pine nuts, some um, garlic, and I also use loads and loads of basil as well. So I just blitz this all up in my Nutribullet with quite a lot of really good extra virgin olive oil and some pasta water as well, probably about four or five tablespoons of pasta water. And then once the pasta's cooked, I just um, add the sauce onto it, mix it all together and add some Parmesan cheese or some normal um, cheddar cheese on top when I have finished. And the kids love this. They don't even realize they're having avocado and it's a really nice, nutritious meal. And even though it's green, it looks a bit strange. It's really, really good. Also, oh, actually, sorry, I also add a veg stock into um, this as well. Actually, to be honest with you, for most of these meals here, I will be adding a veg stock in to the mixture. Um, but like I said, I am going to show you, like these are gonna be what we eat in a week. So I'll show you what um, and how I make everything here. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did and you want to see, like I said, how I made all these different meals, then please subscribe because that video will be on next week. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.